Um, there's, a, there's a beautiful story that basically knocked on my door and said, you know, Travis, I would like to be told this week at Many Rivers at your talk. <laughs> so, I so I want to tell this story tonight. And it's in the interest of recognizing the, again, kind of the old ways. You know, in modern culture, in modern American culture, I think, it seems to me that we live with a lot of specialization, you know. There's not a lot of uh, rewards that are given to, you know, Renaissance people, of which I consider myself to be part of that club, you know. Um, old cultures didn't separate things out. They didn't separate music from ceremony, from dream work, from storytelling. And part of the reason, I think, storytelling Marie-Louise von Franz, who is another Jungian, one of my faves, good old Marlis, she says in one of her books on fairy tales that as near as she can tell, fairy tales arise out of dreams and dream sharing. That it's like what happens around the water cooler or the, the town well, that people share their dreams and then other people say, wow, that's really interesting, and then they tell it again to somebody else and that slowly, over the course of time, the most important and vital elements are kept and rearranged. And so the story gets retold. True wisdom stories are told and retold again so many times that they must have something in them. Otherwise, people wouldn't bother. 